339,996,563. That's how many people live in the United States. Think of it this way. 4.3% of the global population resides in the United States. In all fairness, the USA is the third largest country in the world by area. It houses a massive chunk of the world's population. What doesn't make sense, though, is the fact that nine out of its 50 states are almost empty. To put this into perspective, New York is home to almost 20 million people, the 27th largest state. So what is it about these nine states that make people want to pack their bags and leave? Well, let's find out. Why don't people move to Maine? It would take you a little over seven hours to drive from New York to Maine. It warrants maybe a weekend getaway every month or even every other month. The bottom line is that Maine's just far enough for someone to access the many amenities offered in New York while being far enough away to escape those ungodly rent arrangements. Rent is 10% cheaper in Maine, and that fact alone sounds like a solid driving force, literally, for people to pack up and move up north. Yet surprisingly, Maine has a population of 93% less than New York. It might not be as surprising when you compare the two, or Maine with the rest of the United States. The cold, that's about all there is to it. Despite being home to some of the United States' most beautiful and scenic sites, Maine is the least densely populated state along the East Coast. The state is so far up north that Canada surrounds it on almost every side. And just like Canada, Maine is home to Acadia National Park and the Portland Headlight. And while people do make the trip to visit these sites, they go back home to other states once they're done. Maps showing Maine's population density clearly show that most of its population lives far south or along the coastline. 1.3 million people live in Maine, out of which over 68,000 people live in Portland. 89% of the state is untouched forest. This, in hindsight, might be a good thing, but it also shows how Maine doesn't have thriving companies and industries to sustain larger populations. People are moving out of Montana. When you think of living an all-American life, you probably start picturing cowboys going about in the open, tending to their horses, and just yee-hawing day in and day out, right? Well, that's a highly fictionalized form of the all-American family, by the way. People don't want to live in the great wide open where there's nothing for miles. Despite being one of the largest states of the United States and covering over 147,040 square miles, the state is home to a population of 1.13 million. Second only to Alaska, Montana faces some of the coldest temperatures in the United States. Some regions are warm, some are too cold, and all have homes with highly inflated rent prices. What's wrong with Rhode Island? Should Rhode Island be on this list? Technically, yes, it's home to 1.095 million people, and that warrants it a spot on this list. But it's also one of the most densely populated states, the second one. All of Rhode Island is covered by a road trip. That's 1,214 square miles. So while Rhode Island technically has too much of a population to sustain itself, it warrants a spot on this list. Now that's not to say people aren't moving out of this East Coast state. You see, Rhode Island and New York have the same problem. They've made it almost impossible to live there. The cost of living has gotten so high that people are packing up. If you want to move to Newport, the cost of living is 13% higher than the national average. Delaware should and shouldn't be on this list. It's just like with Rhode Island. Yes, Delaware technically is a state with one of the lowest populations in the United States, but it's also one of the most densely populated ones. If you haven't spotted a pattern already, people prefer states along the East Coast. They're more serene and offer more opportunities with their vast urbanization schemes. Delaware, though, is almost twice the size of Rhode Island, yet it has fewer people living in it. In 2023, the state recorded a population of just over 1.03 million. Delaware wouldn't have been on this list if it weren't for Philadelphia. Not only is Philadelphia considered the birthplace of the entire country, but its climate is much more stable for large corporations to feel at ease and situate their headquarters there. 
It's not that Delaware doesn't have Wilmington. It's the largest metropolitan area with several multinationals located there. The thing is, Philadelphia is only 30 miles away. So why not just go where everyone else is going, right? Of course, the state has considered this and offered tax incentives. This provides companies with a loophole, you could say. They set up a base in the state and then took their business elsewhere, meaning there aren't that many jobs in Delaware to go after. So wait then, who lives in the state? Older people, or well, retirees do. South Dakota, the better of the two Dakotas. Name one thing that's interesting about South Dakota, Mount Rushmore. Now, name two. That's right, South Dakota doesn't have much going for it. A total population of just over 919,000 makes it seem like South Dakota's almost empty when you look at the overall population of the United States. People don't like living in the cold. Not only that, but it's impossible to set up a base for just about any industry where the temperatures are near freezing most of the year. Forget about farming, you can't get a signal for miles, and it just doesn't make sense to move to the state when other options aren't as unforgiving. North Dakota, the lesser of the two Dakotas. A place that's less livable than South Dakota? North Dakota. There might be more employment opportunities in South Dakota, since there are farming options in the state's southern half. North Dakota's south is technically South Dakota's north, and we just covered how temperatures there are unforgiving. A total of 783,926 people live in North Dakota, and it has to do with the climate all of it. If it's not cold, then there's probably a flood on the horizon. And if it's not that either, then the humid temperatures are enough to drive anyone either insane or far away from the state. Alaska is the largest U.S. state, and the third least populated one too. For a state as large as Alaska, covering a total of 663,268 square miles, you'd think they'd have better roads. If not better, at least enough roads to access every part of the state, right? You see, Montana's one of the least populated states too, but the local community sustains itself through tourism. The same goes for Delaware. So, where the other states lack in terms of local all-around employment, they at least guarantee seasonal employment by way of tourism. Alaska has several scenic sites, that's for sure. Glacier Bay National Park would be at the top of anyone's list. The only problem is that Alaska is inaccessible. Well, where there's a will, there's a way, and people usually travel via ferries. But you'd think the state would have more than just 16,000 miles of road, right? Well, there's a reason for this, and it's redundant, the cold. Alaska is the coldest state in the United States, and the population, whatever there is, is contained along its border with Canada. Another reason why people don't want to move there is because it's one of two U.S. states that's not bordered by another state. Hawaii's the other, but they have warm weather, good food, and hula going on for them. Vermont is not that appealing. Getting around in Vermont isn't as easy as hopping on a subway. Public transportation options are limited. You'd have to rent a car or rely on less convenient modes of travel. That can be a turnoff. Still, the state boasts stunning landscapes, charming small towns, and a strong sense of community. Vermont might be your paradise if you're into outdoor activities, like hiking, skiing, or simply immersing yourself in nature. The farm-to-table culinary scene is a foodie's dream, and the slower pace of life can be a refreshing break from the hustle and bustle. Yes, Vermont has its charms, but it lacks iconic landmarks that draw tourists in droves. Vermont might not be your go-to destination if you want to check off famous sites. Wyoming is today's winner, sort of. If you consider having the lowest population out of all 50 states at 584,057 people as winning, then yes, Wyoming is the winner here. In all seriousness, the state might have everything needed to be a booming metropolitan area, and it has vast energy and mineral reserves that would make it seem like everyone was moving there to get a piece. But here's the thing. One of the reasons Wyoming doesn't have that many people living in it is because of its energy and mineral reserves. The state is being primarily used by multi-level corporations attempting to extract everything Wyoming has to offer. Imagine waking up every single day to the sound of heavy machinery. 
Yeah, it's not something to brag about on the brochure. While the state has a decent population living in its urban centers, it would seem like almost all of Wyoming is empty. It makes for a great road trip, but the vast nothingness isn't something people are gearing up to see. So why do you think some of these states have such low populations? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next one.